Okay, this is rigging up your leg. Uh, now, if you're using the file I gave you, uh, I've just got to fix up a few uh, a few things here. Um, I can, actually, well, the first thing I'll do is I'll put my rig on a new layer. So I'm just going to click on my root, like so, and I'm just going to click, and just I'm just going to call this new layer. I'm just going to call it rig. Okay. Now, okay, I'm just going to hide my uh, my layout there. I'll, I'll come back to that. And uh, then I'm just going to move my reverse foot locks just uh, out of the way for the moment. All right, I'll, I'll put those back in just a moment. All right. So uh, here I am. Now I've just, uh, for some reason, uh, I've just got to click these legs. All right, and uh, all right, I've still got these uh, transformations here. Now they're going to cause problems later if I don't clean it up. So what I have to do is just to modify and freeze transformations. All right. Go to the for the hip. How's my leg? All right, that's okay. All right, so it's just on the hip here again, the left and the right. Yep, don't want those. Modify, uh, freeze templates. Yep, and uh, there we go. Okay, those rotations are gone. All right, now what I want to do is uh, if we go into this. You can see you can see a little axes here. All right, I've got this red, the red line going up, green um, going in different directions. What I want it to do is to somehow try to uh, match my axes down here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of my legs. Like so. Right, I'll just go right up, right up close. Just so you can see what's happening. Alright, I've got the red going down, green going behind. Alright, I want the green going up or, or down. So what I have to do is, okay, now again, make sure that you're in your animation and go skeleton and down to orient joint okay and then select your options all right now um why is the axis that goes up down and i think z is the one that goes forward backwards don't, don't quote me on that and um, plus wise, if you want it to be going up, if you want your Y to be going up or uh, going down. All right, so for me, I'm, this is the one I'm using up here. Okay, it may be different on, uh, on your own model, that's okay. So I'm just gonna hit apply. All right, now you can see that my, my green is, it's saying it's going down, but it's following the joint and uh and that's 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 what i want it to do all right don't worry too much about your starts and your finishes but there we go all right so i'll click on my another leg all right and i'll just hit apply again all right and you can see that it just follows along all right it's just sort of following the, the flow of the joint. Okay, don't worry about the toe. And then I'm going to click on the, uh, what do I call that? I call it the pelvis. All right. Again, I'll just zoom up close into one of these. All right. And apply. All right. So there we go. That should cause, save me uh, a lot of problems later on. Pretty important that you do that. Good, okay, now let's close. 
All right. Now, what we want to be doing is a um, an IK handle for the um, for the ankles. All right. So I'll just go up to my animations my uh, animations shelf and I'll just go over to this one here it's the uh, so the green ball with the red lines coming out of it I might just say double click just to get my options up now for the knee what you want to do make sure your current solver is IKRP all right that's for your knees all right and quite simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my hip and just go down to the ankle. So I'm just going to go click one and click on my ankle joint. All right, there you go. So you can see now I'll have this sort of white uh, triangle pointing outwards and I'm just going to have this, uh, this IK joint now. All right, quite good. All right, now for the uh, for the rest of the foot, I'm going to click back on my OK tool. Now I have to change this to IKSC solver. All right, there we go. All right, and I'm just going to follow it the same process. I'm going to click on my ankle joint, and then click on my ball joint. All right, now I'm just going to go up, click on this again, and click on my ankle, sorry, not my ankle, my ball, and then click on my toe. All right, there I go. All right. So they're my IK handles. Now do that again with, the, uh, with your other foot. All right, just remember... When you're doing the uh, the knee joint, change that to uh, IKRP solver. All right, one and two. All right, now go back and change it to IKSC solver for your click one on the ankle one to the ball all right click oh, ankle and then to the ball toe ball to toe all right now give these names let's make sure it's the right one yep all right r underscore knee underscore ik R underscore ankle. Did I call it the ankle? No. I call it the ball. Underscore IK. R underscore toe underscore IK. Alright. There we go. And for the left, L, L for left. And the underscore IK. Again, naming, it only takes a few seconds, but it will save you a lot of problems in the, uh, in the future. Underscore IK. All right. And L underscore to underscore IK. Okay, there it is. I might leave it there. So that's just setting up our IK handles. Uh, after that, we'll do the uh, reverse foot lock. All right. So, okay, I'll just leave it there so you can uh, have a look at it.